Welcome back, it's Dr. Denton with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. And today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about eye pressure, also known as IOP or intraocular pressure. So the first question is what is intraocular pressure? What is an eye pressure? Is that the same as my blood pressure? So every person's eye is um, inflated. Kind of think of it like a beach ball. There's an internal pressure in there kind of keeping your eye um, in a globe formation, right? So you have to have a pressure within your eye to keep all the structures intact. Unlike a beach ball though, your eye is filled with fluid and your eye continually works to regulate that fluid and keep the pressure where it needs to be. Just like having high blood pressure is not a good thing, having high eye pressure is not a good thing either. The second question we get often is, do you test for glaucoma in every exam? When people ask us this, they're thinking most of the time about the eye pressure test. And so the answer is yes. As part of a comprehensive eye exam, we test your eye pressure at every single visit, whether you're here for an office visit or your comprehensive exam. However, that's not the only glaucoma test that we do. It's just one of them, but that's for a different video. So the third question is, how do you test the eye pressure and are you gonna blow air in my eye? So the concept behind testing the eye pressure is that you apply a certain amount of force to the front of the eye, either by using an air puff, by using um, a measuring probe in the exam room, or there's even handheld devices like the eye care tonometer and the tono pen. All we're doing is tapping, well, maybe tapping is not the best word. All we're doing is putting a slight amount of pressure on the front of the eye and measuring how much force is generated back. The air puff test is perhaps the most widely known and I call my office a no puff zone. So we do not have what's called the non-contact tonometer, NCT, or the air puff test. We don't have that in my office, but it's very likely and possible that your eye doctor does, and it's a great way to test eye pressure. It's a little terrifying uh, for the patient, and you know, not the most fun, but it is a great way to measure eye pressure. Another type of eye pressure measuring you might see are the handheld versions. So there's a couple of those out there. Um, we have one called the Tona Pen, where we're just ever so gently coming in close to the eye, putting a little bit of pressure on the front surface, and we get a readout of what your eye pressure is. The third way of testing eye pressure is called the blue light test. So in my exam room, attached to what's called the slit lamp, that's the big piece of equipment I use to look at the um, health of your eyes. On that piece of equipment, we have something called um, a tonometer, Goldman tonometer, but I call it the blue light test for patients. So if you've ever sat there very still while your doctor moved a blue light in towards your eye, that's what they're doing. They're testing your eye pressure. All right, so you might be wondering, because I've let the secret out, that in some of these tests, we are getting very close to your eye and touching it. So what you can expect if you're going through these tests is that you'll have a numbing drop put in your eyes. It'll make your eyes feel funny, numb, a little weird for about 20 minutes or so, but that's gonna allow the doctor to check the pressure and it will not hurt you. You won't feel any pain. If you just look straight ahead, they can get that pressure very, very quickly. You might be wondering what a normal pressure range is. We typically call that about 10 to 21. Um, is the reading. However, with pressure, it depends on the patient. So a reading that is in the normal range could be too high for your eyes. Or a, you may have high eye pressure all the time and it's not creating any issues for you. So I definitely urge you to talk to your doctor about your eye pressure and find out if it's normal for you. Finally, you might be wondering why we measure eye pressure. There are, of course, diseases where the pressure can be high in the eye. Uh, glaucoma is the most well-known of those, and it's certainly something we monitor every patient for every year. We're continually looking at your risk of glaucoma, and pressure is just one of the ways that we do that. 
We know that the eye can't withstand a high pressure uh, very well. So in glaucoma, the pressure would be high. And we're looking to make sure that it's not causing damage to your eye. And there's a number of additional tests that we do to make sure damage isn't happening. Pressure can also be too low. It is possible for it to be too low and there's several conditions where that may occur as well. I hope that's answered your questions about your intraocular pressure. It is not the same as your blood pressure, although there is some relation there that is way too involved for a video like this. It is necessary to get tested every year. You don't have to have it tested by the air puff, although it is a very common way to have it tested. And if you haven't had an eye exam in a while, I definitely recommend that you do it. And you'll know more about why they're testing your eye pressure this time. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. We've got videos coming every Wednesday at four o'clock.